So the second part of this problem after we found the missing point was that we need to now prove its parallelogram. So take a second, finish uh, drawing your shape, getting your slopes and getting your distances and putting it under the table and then come back and we'll talk about the last little part of this problem. Okay, so this is the picture you should end up with. Uh, some of the stuff that I used in the last one I erased so I could make it look better, but you can, it's all fine for it to be there. There's all my slopes, uh, rises and runs labeled. Here is my table with all of the slopes and distances right there. So for a parallelogram, I want two pair of parallel sides. So I'm going to look for that. So I should see right away that these two are parallel because those slopes are the same. This top slope here, AB, has got two negatives, so it's actually two positives. Right, same thing, two negatives make a positive, and I've got parallel slopes right there. Okay, the distances don't matter for the parallelogram, so I just need two pair of parallel sides. So now I'm going to come out here and write my statement. So based on my calculations, ABCD is a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel sides. Remember, parallelogram is the only one that has a symbol, so you can use a symbol. You can write the word parallelogram. And above all, the picture and the calculations are worth almost all of your points, so please get those down there and correct.